three, two, one. Ignition. And liftoff of Falcon 9. Go SpaceX, go Sentinel 6B. Sentinel 6B rising, extending nearly four decades of the precise sea level record from space. Falcon 9 booster is currently firing all nine of those Merlin engines at 190,000 pounds of thrust per engine, and we can hear it, and soon we're going to feel that in our chest. So exciting. After about 50 seconds, those engines will begin throttling down slow to slow down the vehicle to prepare for max Q. Think of it as kind of like a low-key fire. fire. Max Q, or or maximum no. aerodynamic pressure, is when Falcon 9 will feel the largest structural load of the vehicle that it's going to see during its entire boost phase of flight. Slowing down the vehicle just means that Falcon, Falcon 9, 9 is going to experience a less load. Now traveling faster than the speed of Next sound. Queue. Stage separation confirmed. MVEC ignition. Stage 1 boost back startup. That was a beautiful light up of the second stage, and you're looking now getting ready for the the fairings to come off. That's our next big milestone. Confirmed. And we're now just a few seconds away from the expected big moment of separation of Sentinel 6B from the second stage of a Falcon 9 rocket. We've got a crystal clear shot of the spacecraft and the rocket. Sentinel 6B Less than 10 deploy seconds confirmed. from separation. And there she goes. Sentinel 6B flying free. Another international partnership taking its place among the fleet of satellites tracking Earth's vital signs from 800 miles above our planet. And look at it go. Wow, that's incredible, Daryl. Big congratulations to this team of international partners. We just heard NASA launch manager on his net congratulating the spacecraft team. And a picture-perfect picture separation as you're literally center of the globe watching this satellite go off to do its work.